Hello everybody, it's Mystic and welcome back to my library. Today I am going to be discussing and reviewing Lakeburg Legacies, a city builder and life sim game by Ishtar Games, which recently released on Steam. I initially played the demo of this game when it launched a few months ago and fell in love with it. But has my love for the game held up past the demo and into the official launch? Uh, let's talk about that, okay? Before I get into why I don't necessarily love the game as much as I had hoped I would, let's talk about the great things that Lakeburg Legacies does have going for it. And there are a few. First of all, the graphics and art style of this game are absolutely my cup of tea. They have this hand-drawn element to them that I truly love and think fits in perfectly with the cozy aesthetic that the game is going for. I also love the way the characters look. They have this cartoony quality to them that I think works really well. There is also quite a lot of variation in what the characters look like. The landscape and buildings are all also great to look at as well. Even the buildings of ill repute have this cute hand-drawn quality to them, so you really can't hate them, even when they're destroying your whole town. The music fits in nicely with the overall theming and helps to get you into that medieval mindset while you play. I do wish they'd add more tracks later down the line though to help mix things up a little bit. It can be a bit repetitive the more times you play the game. Ishtar Games has been extremely responsive to the community and very fast at putting up updates and bug fixes to the game when things are discovered. Since launch, there have been three or four updates that have already had a huge impact on the quality of life of players of the game. This factor alone has caused me to increase my overall score of the game, which I'll get to at the end of this video. There is still a lot of work to be done, but given what I've seen from the developers already, I'm very confident that they will be continuing to improve the game as needed. Also, thus far, I haven't encountered anything game-breaking when it comes to issues or bugs with this game. Everything that I've encountered so far has been a quality of life issue, but nothing has made the game unplayable for me. All right, we covered the good. Now let's talk about some of the not so good aspects of this game and what I'd like to see changed. Unfortunately, the majority of my complaints with Lakeburg Legacies are with its gameplay. Hopefully things get updated and fixed along the way, but as of right now, this is the biggest reason I am not scoring this game as high as I wish I was. The gameplay is fun early on when you're first starting out. There is a lot to plan for and take into account when moving in and marrying off your villagers. However, as time goes on, I start to find the gameplay a bit repetitive and boring. It almost starts to feel like an idle game later on once your granary is full to the brim with resources. Another major issue that I have with the game is the tutorial. It is very basic and really doesn't cover everything that you need to know about how to play the game. It completely ignores the buildings of ill repute and what you need to do about them. And to be honest, after playing this game for several days since release, I still am not really sure what to do with them. Do I just leave them alone and hope that the good buildings will counteract their damage? Do I have to do something specific to make them inactive? I have no idea. Having that in the tutorial would have been super helpful. The tutorial also doesn't really cover how children work or what you need to do with them to give them the best chance of success at their lives. You're just kind of on your own to figure it out. Another facet of gameplay that I find confusing is character death. Characters will die in this game, but the game never really tells you what they died of. An older character most likely died of old age, sure, but I've seen younger characters die and I have no clue what caused it. Were they sick? Did they die in some horrible accident? I have no clue and the game doesn't tell me. If I knew what was causing it, I could hopefully fix the problem so that nobody else dies from whatever it was. But without knowing the cause, there really isn't anything I can do for them. Along with this, some couples seem to break up for seemingly no reason at all. Even though it looked like they were doing fine, suddenly I'm getting an announcement that they have split up. Hopefully at some point the couple system is a bit more obvious in how it works for us players. I also wish there was a better way to organize my villagers. I'd love to see an option to sort the characters by their strongest skills and by their aspirations so I can know who I want to put where. For the non-sale price of $23 US, I feel that a lot of these issues probably should have been fixed prior to release. Yeah, we had the demo, but the demo only went until the castle was built. A lot of the problems I encountered, mysterious character deaths, buildings of ill repute, repetitiveness, all seem to occur after the castle is built. So. The those of us that played the demo never really got to experience the problems and were therefore unable to inform the devs about them. So do I think that you should give Lakeburg Legacies a chance? Unfortunately, not yet, and not the way the game is currently playing. I think there is still a lot that the devs have to do before this game can get my official stamp of approval. Even with a sale, I feel like there's a lot of issues with the game that makes it not worth the price that it currently is. That all being said, the devs have already shown that they do want to do better for their players and the game and seem to be working very hard to fix the problems that people have been pointing out. I'd like to revisit this game at a later date after there have been time for updates and fixes to be made so that I can give this game a real solid chance and hopefully a better score. However, 
However, at this point in time and with the way the game currently plays, I give Lakeburg Legacies three books out of five. I was originally going to give it a 2.5, but the fact that the devs have been so responsive and working tirelessly to fix the problems allowed me to bump the score up a bit. As it stands right now, the game is just okay, but hopefully one day it will become the game that we were all hyped up for it to be. I hope you all enjoyed this review and I will see you next time. Bye.